YouTube is now up too. Hello everyone. Happy yes. St. Patrick's Day early. Hello. How does yes. my head adornment look? Uh, I didn't have a mirror. Looks it looks pretty looks good from this point. I'm waiting for... Wait, what? Oh wait, are we... Are we actually live on the YouTube? Yeah, YouTube shows... YouTube has a countdown. What's up with that? YouTube shows... Oh, wow. See, now I look like mini Pearl. Jamie! Oh, you <laughs> do! That's really cute, actually. See? <laughs> do I look like mini Pearl now? Yes. Here. Like that? Oops, here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Okay. <laughs> All right. Kind of annoying, actually. Kathy's on. Thank you so much for the <laughs> alert that you sent us. Thank you, Kathy, for that, you know, viral thing that's going on. Because we can't say that word. <laughs> we YouTube can't? is mon demonetizing people for using that word. <laughs> Alrighty then. I'm not going to say anything. Here. Just move this over here. Did I mention I hate having... It's your backup sanitizer. <laughs> it's my backup sanitizer. No. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Renee is so excited. My first live watching from South Korea. Yay, Renee. Wow. It's awesome to have you on. That's pretty cool. We're actually... Well, never mind. Yeah. That is really cool. That is really cool. <laughs> Cindy, hello everyone. Love your hair is so cute. Oh, you took the flowers yeah. out though. Well, I didn't know if I wanted to look like Minnie Pearl or not. <laughs> All right. I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook where you can eat better, spend less. If you guys love us, give us a thumbs up and tell your friends about us. Yay. Apparently we're not supposed to say please share on Facebook anymore. Why? You know you just said it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's talking about. I know, but bots don't know the difference. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, we are making, what are we making today? Corned beef and cabbage. Now, I have never made this on the show before, and it is not in our Dining on a Dine cookbook. Actually, it's going to be in another cookbook that we're going to have, but I haven't made this because really this is a, this is not rocket science people recipe. And literally, it's like a 30 second recipe. Yep. <laughs> so, I don't know what we're going to talk about. If you guys have questions after I'm done showing you how to just take and dump it in the pot, <laughs> let me know and we'll see what we chat about. I'll talk about going to the grocery store this morning and what I got. All right, this week. My local Kroger ad right here, picked it up this morning, right here, okay? They had, I never look on the inside of the grocery thing. The only place I look is on the front page and on their special inserts. That's the only place, get your hands to yourself. That's the only place that I look on ads, okay? On the back. Right here, you can see corned beef. Can they see that, Dave? Uh, Two forty-nine yeah. a pound. Yeah. Two. I'm uh -oh. sure it's not gonna explode. <laughs> it's gonna blow Two... up. Two forty-nine yeah. a pound. Can you see that right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then they have cabbage, right there, twenty-eight cents a pound. Wow. Okay. Right there. So I stocked up on those, and then, of course, on the front page, they had eggs for 99 cents a dozen, and Monday I just bought six dozen, but I just went and bought six dozen more because I am in the middle of recipe testing for our next two, two new books coming out, and... We have a lot of recipes to test. And so I am going through about a dozen eggs a day, two to three, well, <laughs> six dozen a week, about a dozen a day recipe testing. So anyway, yes. All right, so this corned beef cabbage for your slow cooker or corned beef cabbage in your crock pot, whatever you want, can be made, this corned beef and cabbage can be made in the oven 
That's that's the way Tara prefers to do it. But the yes. cockpot and the slow cooker are pretty much the same. So here's the thing. To make this is a recipe that I would use my crock pot slow cooker for. I don't really use my crock pot that often. Maybe, maybe eight or ten times <clears throat> a year, if that many. Um, because I just like the oven better. But this is one recipe that I would use in the crock pot. Now, corned beef right here, just so you guys can see. I paid six eighty five. Six eighty five. That oh. was my discounted price. Okay. Oh, that's cool. This is two point seven pounds of meat, so we'll probably get about two pounds of meat out of here. So this is two dinners for six dollars and eighty five cents. I can still get five dollars or less for the entire dinner, especially with cabbage being only twenty eight cents a pound. That's the or less. Okay. Once again, if you guys have questions, please post them to Mike and or comments, and we will answer them as soon as I'm done. Now. In five minutes. In five minutes. <laughs> um, now, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, guys. I can still say that on YouTube, so please give me a thumbs up. Helps YouTube. All right. You take your corned beef. Well, be careful about the flavor packet. You pour <laughs> everything in. Where'd the flavor packet go? It was on the bottom of the meat. Oh. Of the meat. The bottom. Oh. Okay. Then you fish <laughs> out the flavor packet. Yeah, All right. You take your flavor packet. You sprinkle it over the top, just like so. Throw all of that away. Sanitize your hands. Sanitize your um, scissors. Everything. Can we say the word sanitize? I don't know. Yes, we're allowed to. <laughs> Are we allowed to do That's that? That's on the list of non-demonetized words. <laughs> of monetized words. Then you take and you fill your water up about this high over oh, your corned How beef. High? Okay? About this high. So see yeah. where the corned beef is in there? You're going to oh. put it about that much higher. Okay? So we're going to fill it up. Where's the... Huh? Here it is. All right, I'm sharing the recipe again in the comments. They are in the description, by the way. And I think like one or two things down on our uh, front page of the website, livingonadime.com. Yay. Yeah. Uh, how much, I, I'm not sure. I think Darlene is asking how much was the meat again. The meat was two forty nine a pound. So it was six eighty five for the whole thing. Then, if you have an onion, throw an onion in there. I thought I had onions and I didn't, so I'm putting onion powder. If you have um, a use for onions and you don't have onion powder, just, or I mean, and you don't have onions, just use onion powder. Then, you put it in your crock pot and you turn it on high. You can come back to me for four hours. You might check it after three hours. I would probably cook this for five to six hours. I'll be honest. I like my meat to shred with a fork. None of this having to cut your meat thing. I don't like that. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure this one on the stove top is done, but there's corned beef and cabbage in the slow cooker, slow cooker, let me say that again. This corned beef and cabbage slow cooker recipe <laughs> <laughs> could, um, could go anywhere from four to six hours on high, eight to 10, 12 hours on low, an hour before you want to serve it in the slow cooker, put in your potatoes and your carrots and your cabbage and then dinner is going to be ready okay for the instant pot you can put in your instant pot cover it with water once again at least this much water above the top cook it for at least 90 minutes i like it well done you can do it for less and that's fine you could probably do it for 60 minutes and you'd be okay in the instant pot but i like it well done that 
will work also with the potatoes and the carrots and the cabbage. Just put those in for 15 minutes or so, bring the pressure back up, cook those, and you're done. You can also cook it in the oven. This is like an easy peasy recipe. Super easy peasy. Put it in here, sprinkle the stuff on top, <clears throat> put a little bit of water in it, cover it with foil. 30, 45 minutes before it's done, put your potatoes and your carrots and your cabbage in, and that's it. So, let, oh, have mercy. I think I'm, okay. That totally wasn't me. That totally wasn't you. This whole plate was full of buns. Uh, <laughs> I agree. I think a mouse came into our house, Dad. Okay, so then, let me finish this oh. so the kids can go play tennis. They're leaving to go play tennis. Dave is just wanting to go. No, I then, just let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like when it's cook done cooking. Now, I don't know if mine actually got tender. It didn't. Shoot. It didn't get tender enough. I forgot to put it in until almost 2 o'clock. I had a knife. Oh. So we'll pretend like it's fork tender and that's fine. And I'll just cut a piece off. We'll pretend like it's fork tender. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, this is fine. It's cooked, but I, I like it done more just because and then just cut it like that. So Elizabeth was asking what cut is the corned beef? I have no idea. I don't know. We've never actually thought about that before, but I guess I would... just buy it. <laughs> I don't question what cut it is. That's what I do with all my meat. Everybody asks me, what kind of roast do you <clears throat> do you buy? I just buy whatever's on sale cheap because I slow cook it. I never have a problem because it's really tender unless I don't put it in on time like I did now. Okay, so there is ow, your um, <laughs> corned beef and cabbage dinner right there. $5 for the entire family. This actually is probably closer to $4. Let me cut a, be let me cut a piece here, see what Mike thinks. Okay. Do you want to try a bite? Sure. What is it? Corned beef. It's a traditional Irish dinner. Is it hot? What do you think? Mm -hmm. We're good. I can say. I like it. You like it? It's actually not bad. Pretty good. Yeah. Actually, it's done enough. I just don't like cutting my meat. I like just shredding my meat, but it's done. Oh, yum. Awesome. Mm. Mm. Well, I don't really want to take plate because I'm just about to play tennis, but... <laughs> Yum. I might have some of that just cabbage. Is there salt on the cabbage? No. Do you want salt? Mmm. We'll see. You don't have to salt it until I try it first. Oh, or, yes, you do. Or yes. <laughs> it's really good. Mmm. I never make corned beef. Wow, beef. <laughs> I yes. should, actually, more. Oh, mm -hmm. that much? You didn't want that much? pretty good if you ate, ate the carrot. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. All right, Dave, you can go. Uh, <laughs> That's how you make it. Super simple. Two minutes. Um. Yum, Ramo. Mmm. This is that really good. <laughs> that is really good. Yes. That's really good. Oh, hey, Jack. Did Jack say if he liked it or not? Mm-hmm. He did. Uh, so. Uh, Jean is asking, did you get the one with the spices? Did you add yes. the spices? Yeah, it came the spices? with the spices. Were they on it or you just had a little packet or something? I, would, I wasn't looking. It was a packet that you open and you put in there. Hmm. Yep. Um, somebody said, Lynn, why didn't you rinse off the salt? Because that's what you need to flavor the corned beef. You don't want to rinse off the salt. You want to just pour all the juices and everything in there. Because... That's what makes it taste good. I totally... Okay, Elizabeth, I'm kind of <laughs> realizing we were a little silly. Rita says, I forgot this is brisket. 
the corned beef is corned beef brisket. So yeah. Rita says that that's uh, part. I don't know what part uh, that's of the a cow cut. That is. It sits below the chuck on the front of the cow. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> Uh, Courtney says, after St. Patty's Day will be on sale so you can stock up. Deli section has it uh, where they will slice it for you. Wow. Wow. Cool. Well, were you the one that said on Monday's show that your whole family got saved watching the Penny Pinch and Mama one? If so, we missed that. I was just curious if it was you. Um, and if that's you, Paul, tomorrow you need to watch tomorrow's video that's coming out. Which one's tomorrow's video? Is there one I'm... Oh, I'm oh, not going to oh. say, because I don't want to oh, you mean, steal my idea. You mean with reference to watching the old toilet paper episode? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. He says he can't take... So, I don't know how many of you guys have been around long enough or have seen it, but uh, Paul in, is saying we watched an old toilet paper episode and can't take Mike seriously now. <laughs> You guys are medicine for my wife's soul. See? Oh, you didn't want to do that. You. And you are helping... A lady get healed with your poop on your arm. It wasn't real poop, though. So <laughs> that's the one. Actually, with your peanut butter poop on your arm. What's funny, um, yeah, not a good. if you weren't with us at the time when it actually happened, uh, we went to a conference or a homesteading conference in Mississippi. And our uh, we have some, <laughs> some friends over there that uh, Tommy Alderman from Alderman Farms... <clears throat> And uh, he, when we showed up at the airport, he had a four-pack roll of toilet paper with our name on it as kind of like the sign waiting for us at the airport. And then at the homesteading conference, everybody was making fun of us for that video. So we got some corn cobs. So we told him this was the homesteading toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. um, what was I going to say? Something about... Oh, and... I know this is not Irish for all of you people in Wales and Ireland, but it was the closest grain I had. I don't actually have an Irish. So Tars being Welsh Irish today. <laughs> yes. All right. So let me show you real quick here. Scoot over just a bit. So today I got six dozen eggs, three cabbages, bananas, and grapes, and all of those were on sale. If you guys wanted to see what I get for groceries, that's what it is here. For you plant lovers is my 10 cent orchid that my sister-in-law got me at lowe's i need to get a fancier twist tie that just does not look very good <laughs> but my 10 cents she paid 10 cents for this at lowe's i have been waiting like nine months for it to bloom and it finally bloomed so, while I'm finishing my dinner, go ahead and give me questions. So, Christina said, <clears throat> I'm going to make this for St. Patty's Day. I've never had corned beef. What does it compare to taste-wise? Like a salty um, roast beef. Yeah, it's salty. Yeah. I, the, is, it, is that the only variation on the mm. flavor? Mm. It, it tastes... I don't know what this is some other kind of taste that's hard to explain. Ooh. I'm trying to see if it has ingredients. Let's see. Well, it's gluten free. I don't know what this. I don't know what seed. I don't know what corned beef. It, I don't know what the seasoning is. Carolyn says Saint Patrick was Welsh. So if that's true, then you're. Oh well, I did good, and I didn't even know it. And Elizabeth says Wales is near Ireland. Yes, we've well, twice gone through Hollyhead to get to Dublin. So I know it's close. But we're going to get somebody who's going to yell at me because I'm wearing a Welsh <laughs> apron and it's St. Patrick's Day. I totally get that. But, oh, I did have an Irish, my sheep apron. <laughs> I forgot about my sheep apron. I did get me one when we were in Ireland. Okay. Yay. That was delicious. So Paul said the wife... Asked if I loved her enough to smear fake poop on my arm to figure out prices here. Well, the good news is it was peanut butter and cocoa. Cocoa. But yep. I still would need it, but it was definitely less less icky. So yeah, <clears throat> uh, yeah. So if you guys missed that video two years ago, I did the great toilet paper test for the betterment of mankind 2018. 
and I tested like 16 different toilet papers for the cost per wipe because you're figuring toilet paper wrong. It's actually the cost per wipe. And for all of you Scott users, it is a waste of money. It is a huge waste of money. It takes three times the amount of Scott to use as it does Sherman or anything else. And we determined that scientifically with Mike's arm. But Scott is septic friendly, I guess. It's all septic friendly. Is it all but septic friendly? People say it bothers their septic tank, so I don't know. But. Well, I mean, mm. if you need to put 14 pounds of it in. Then. <laughs> then, um, yesterday, in case you guys missed it, I did a hand sanitizer video on four homemade hand sanitizer recipes that you can do at home um, if you can't find hand sanitizer it's kind of ridiculous but anyway so um, oh so denise said if there's any leftover corned beef make hash with it and yes i yes i was thinking that we might mention that because yeah. but we've never actually made that have we no so no how's my toe kathy much better, thank you. Oh my goodness. I thought, I don't think I broke it. I can bend it. So I don't think I broke it. I just think I really uh, bruised it. I was trying to think of the word that that's called. So Shelly would like to know how to find the TP show. I'm going to go look for a link for it right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Somebody asked something earlier and I was going to get to that. Well, that's a good idea. Karen says she hates the seeds getting into her cabbage, so she puts the seasonings in a um, little uh, coffee filter. So Lynn asked, why didn't you rinse the salt off? <clears throat> that's yeah, part of I the... Yeah, I already answered oh, that. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah. sorry. It's part of the flavoring. So, and somebody said I added too much salt. Nope. Oh, Anne-Marie! Hello! Um, I did not add too much salt. It's just perfectly salted. People use way too little salt. They need the more salt oh, this is a short in one. the world. Um, that's not the one, is it? Well, yeah, that's weird. Oh, it's one. Oh, okay, it is longer. Okay, so that's the right one. I want to see. Where's that part? Sorry, <laughs> Mike's distracted. Okay, so this is the one that I should share the link for. Yeah. So the here's toilet the paper. Toilet so paper. Yeah, I'm here's going the toilet to, paper. Oops, let me. All right. Uh, so. <laughs> so I compared which toilet paper is actually cheapest. And yeah, I was, we were very scientific. For a month, we tested toilet papers. Every day, we tested a different one. We looked for moisture breakthrough. <laughs> she came up with whole new terms that were just. And then to make sure we were actually getting. Scientific results, we calculated cost per wipe, not cost per sheet, because all the sheets are not made the same. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, so, here's the thing on rubbing alcohol. You don't need rubbing alcohol, but in my DIY hand sanitizer, I have three, two other ways. I have two that use rubbing alcohol and two that don't, but... Um, I went to the grocery store this morning and there was rubbing alcohol, so I got five. Now, am I stocking up to prep? No. So what happened is I use rubbing alcohol just for cleaning in general and that kind of thing. Well, I've been letting our emergency stash go down because I was kind of hopeful that we would move. So I have been letting things like the toilet paper and rubbing alcohol, heavier things, bulkier things, um, go down to save us moving it. But now after this, I'm just going to leave it and we'll just do it up. Yeah. <clears throat> Amy said, my takeaway from the toilet paper test was that you are deprived people with only two ply paper and I feel like I need to bring you some higher ply so you can treat yourself. <laughs> So Amy lives in Western Australia. So they have three ply paper, toilet Apparently. paper? Apparently. Wow. Wow. So Paul says, the wife asked if you guys each ve eat veggie meals and only meat a few days. Yeah, I mean. From, can we kind of go back and forth? Sometimes we do, sometimes. Yeah. We're not vegetarian or anything, but we don't eat meat for every single 
dinner either. Like we'll have just spaghetti or we'll have pancakes with eggs or I guess eggs would be considered a meat. I don't know. It depends on your definition <clears throat> of meat, I guess. But yeah, so anyway, um, yes, we do do meatless meals. Um, Jim, what does cooked cabbage taste like? Cooked cabbage. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's a kind of a vegetable-y flavor, just like, well, actually, I was going to say like Brussels sprouts, but I guess they're the same thing, aren't they? <laughs> Only different sizes. Uh, I don't know. It just tastes like cabbage. It's, um, yeah, it, it would be kind of like a, a milder version of Brussels sprouts. But yeah. I don't know if you've eaten Brussels sprouts. Uh, they tend it tends to be good with salt and pepper, and some people like to put butter on it. Um, we haven't had cooked cabbage very much lately because nobody likes it. But do yeah. you like it? Cabbage. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So Tara and I like it, but nobody else likes it. Yeah. And especially probably not Jill. <laughs> Jesse said, "Why do you pour the blood in instead of stock? Because all the flavoring is in the blood. Because they flavor, they season it a little bit before, and it helps season it." Uh, okay, let's see. Another question about the TP video. I will share the toilet paper <gasps> oh, video. Quarantine yourself. Oh, oh no. Did you say a word? Is that a word said, forbidden? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, so somebody was asking why are the... <laughs> I'm trying to remember what that exact question was about the words. Oh, why are they... Okay, so if you use the C word... <laughs> Which if you is were, in the use news. the word referring to the specific melody that people are very concerned about right now. So if you use the word for the particular ailment that is plaguing the entire world and we're all supposedly going to die from, uh, if you use that word, YouTube will ban you from, because they don't want misinformation being spread. But tomorrow, I think tomorrow's video, I am sending out a press release. It's that good. Yes. You have no idea Except, what I'm talking about. Well, I think it's the one that you were trying to rope everybody into today. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got to do it. You got to. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, anyway, if you use that, if you claim to have medical advice on helping cure it, then certain words will cause the bot to demonetize you and take your video down. So anyway, yes. All right, next question. Okay, so. Man, this here, is Let's really go back good. to the top here because I just kind of been all over the place. Don't mind me while I eat my dinner. So Renee and Wujin, you are both in South Korea. Wow, cool. It was like 7.30 in the morning there or 8 probably now. We had looked to getting our books printed there, actually. Yep. M Michelle says, I bought St. Patrick's socks today. Aww. Oh, Cindy, you've totally convinced me on slow cooking in the oven. So much better than a crock pot. Woo! So we have a crock pot, but to be honest, Tara it. thinks it's so much easier just to use the oven. 90% and... of the food comes out slimy and overcooked. With the oven, you slow roast it, and so it doesn't get as slimy. Yes, I leave the oven on all day long when I'm gone, all night long when I'm gone, or when I'm asleep. If you're going to leave your crock pot on, there's no reason why you can't leave your oven on. They're both... If you leave your heater on, why can't you leave your oven or your crock pot on? So I have no problem the main with thing, that thing. I can so. understand if you're in Florida or Texas and it's August and you don't want to have the oven on because wouldn't the crock pot be cooler then in your house? Yes. So. Well, sometimes, not always. But in that case, I would cook it out in the garage or on the back porch. Actually, the crock pot can really heat up your kitchen a lot. I really don't like using it in the summer. Um, so the C word that we can't say is in the next town from us also, but here's what we here's how we're gonna fight it. Do we tell them how we're gonna fight it? I forgot. Those, those little plastic swords from the restaurant. <laughs> I'm sorry. You and Ellie were looking today <clears throat> for going next week. Oh, right, right. <laughs> that would be a great way to fight it. Okay, yeah. So we found out tickets to Hawaii are $300 right now, round, round trip. trip. <laughs> and we're like, Jack's got spring break next, not next week, but the week after. Let's go. 
We could go see Pastor JD. So you were JD. seriously thinking, let's go. Here, I thought it was just Ellie and Dave and I that were wanting to, yeah! Well, I'll let you guys go do all your stuff, and I'll sit on the beach and just read my book. Well, I would just as soon sit on a different part of the beach and read my book. I would too. <laughs> no, I was going to say, sit on the beach and read my book, but I know Tar would appreciate it if it was just mom alone, kind of like in Kathy's thing that she yes. said. <laughs> Um, so we were like, man, let's go to Hawaii for 300 bucks for round trip. That's pretty good. So Mike said, yeah, he said the only catch is it's $300 for a round trip for the flight, but it's a thousand dollars if you want toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. You, you were pretty good on that. Yes. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. So the thing is, we've never been to Hawaii, so I have no idea what... I mean, what do you do in Hawaii? And well, I thought Hawaii... I'm just concerned about you and the traveling. Well, I thought six months ago or something, wasn't Hawaii, like, bubbling away with lava? Like, yeah, the whole place was getting... That's old news. Nobody remembers that anymore. <laughs> Actually, Tara was asking about Hawaii with the bubbling... Uh, the volcano and I was thinking you know I know it was really bad last year but bubbling a lot more but it bubbles pretty so regularly. So Aline said she had a 12 pound turkey for dinner that she paid 20 cents for. You go girlfriend that's wow. great. Hawaiian wow. food? Uh, what would we eat in Hawaii? I what is, I mean, I mean Ellie was saying that she wanted to go for the food and I had no idea what kind of different I food to have there. I have no idea. So Lisa loved the sanitizer from the beginning of the show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the back oh. sanitizer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, oh, Elizabeth, just, uh, I don't know if we actually quite answered that, but uh, when Tara was talking about the, oh, we can't say that word or whatever, it's because some people are taking advantage of everyone with all the concern yeah. about the particular... Uh, thing that's going around right the now. The illness that's going around the world right and now. And so those people are taking advantage of other people by telling them a lot of scary things to get them to buy things. So <clears throat> YouTube uh, and Facebook are kind of patrolling. Censoring. They're, they have a computer that listens for those words and if it hears them it assumes that you're doing something wrong. So. Listen, we're joking around. <clears throat> We know this is serious, but we also know that over the last 20 years, something like this has happened every single year. It was Ebola, it was H1N1, it was Y, it started with Y2K, it was SARS, all this stuff. The thing is, the facts are, the flu and getting in a car are going to kill you a thousand times faster or chances are higher than this thing is and so you need to be careful I'm not gonna tell you if you're 75 years old and you've got respiratory problems to be going out and doing all kinds of stuff where there's a whole bunch of people but we have talked to the doctor we have researched several things the doctor said it'll be like you getting the flu and then you'll be fine. And that's what happens with the flu. So for people to be going out and buying toilet paper and state of emergencies for 10 people who are, they declared a state of emergency. There's 10 people sick in Colorado. It's ridiculous. So well, the thing is we understand. It's the it, fear and panic well, we understand that causes more problems. It's serious for particularly people that are already yeah. in pretty bad shape. If you have cancer or an immune problem, I probably wouldn't tell, I mean, well, I probably wouldn't. I know I wouldn't tell you to go out and do whatever. I would stay home and be careful. But the average healthy person should be fine. Jennifer so. says the hand washing thing makes me wonder if people weren't washing their hands before now. <sighs> yeah. Well, I guess the thing for us is we've seen a lot of things come and go. And a lot of them, like H1N, when I looked back, Oh, I shouldn't say that. That's probably a forbidden word. I looked back in the, uh, I looked back on the internet um, at the time when it came out, and they were saying four um, percent, and now they're saying it was a lot less than that. And I think, yeah. I just think that. Mike read today. What was the percentage in, today? You said. Well, like I heard a one. Percent. 
I heard one, but I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. But I worked in television for a long time. What I realized in television is it's all, all of it is a massive amount of hype designed to get you afraid so that you watch their stuff and their advertisers pay them. And so I realized that many of these things are generated more for great fear than an abundance of caution. Yeah. I think it's wise to be cautious, especially on one like this where uh, they're saying that it, you know, can spread easier. But I, I think that we've just realized that you can worry yourself to death about everything. Yeah. <laughs> and like Tar was saying about cars, car accident, um, car accidents kill a lot of people in the United States. And 1.2 million people are killed. I don't think in the United States. I think that's worldwide. But you don't see them going around. Ah, don't get in the car. Don't get in the car. Except for Tara. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to get in the car. <laughs> well, I don't, because in Colorado they've lost their mind. So, but but it's. But here's the thing: we are stocked up normally. We keep an emergency s supply of stuff all the time. We could last three to four months in our house, easy, probably six months to a year. But because I always keep a stash of extra food and toilet paper and rubbing alcohol and medicines and all that kind of stuff because you never know when something is going to happen. Just with floods. We had flooding six, seven years ago. Our town was cut off from getting out because we had rivers or creeks that covered the road and you couldn't get across. So our town was cut off from getting out people are having to be airlifted from um from the mountains in colorado because they couldn't get out because of the flash flooding so just on a normal time you just want to be you need to have at least a month's worth of stuff always in your house and i thought it was really sad yesterday i went to the grocery store yesterday or monday and to get recipe testing stuff and one of the ladies was like, yeah, you know, who has $250 just laying around for two weeks of groceries? And I was like, uh, I do. <laughs> I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> what? Wow. Aren't you proud of me? I am. I didn't say a that word. That was impressive. I did not say a word. <laughs> she wasn't talking to me, but I didn't butt in. <laughs> wow. But, you know, that's really sad if you don't have $250 <clears throat> worth cash to save up to stock up on groceries guys if you're in that position you need to go watch every video we have go read every article we have on our website and start learning how to save money so that when these emergencies happen you aren't going and clearing out the toilet paper section at the grocery store i mean it's ridiculous and wait till you see friday's video it's even more ridiculous when you see friday's video because i took some pictures and Tara's got something to say. Tara's got something to say. Yeah. By the way, guys, um, while Mike's getting me some more questions. Uh, well, I was going to say one, uh, one other thing. Somebody on Monday's show said that she was 70-something. Uh, well, yeah, I wouldn't go out then. She said she's changed her plan to not be at the store when there's as many people there. And those things are good. It's. I mean, the thing is, we don't want to be sick with anything. So if you can do stuff to kind of reduce that probability for you, that's great. And I also think there's a smart thing about that too. Going to the store when there aren't as many people there it won't drive you crazy <laughs> being in the huge throngs of people. It's funny because when we were traveling, especially, well, starting when, when we were in Ireland, we really spent most of the time in the places where the huge crowds of people were, didn't go or at the times when they weren't there as much. Yeah. And it just makes life much more pleasant. So go ahead. I, well, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Oh, oh, by the way, if uh, you want to go get that while I say anything, that's probably on. <laughs> um, Monday, I know it's not quite yet, but Monday, we are starting our Save and the Green sale. That is our biggest ebook sale of the year, our Save and the Green sale. So if you guys want an ebook, 
wait until Monday because we are having our big Save It With Grease sale. Um, so I just thought I'd give you that heads up. It is, it, it is the best. This one is going to be the best sale we've ever had. So you guys are going to absolutely love it. It's the best ebook sale we've ever, ever had. Um, okay, so does the crock pot make the brisket tender? Yes, but so does the oven and so does the stove top. The tender part is not, has nothing to do with the implement that you're cooking it in. It has to do with how long and how slowly you're cooking the food. The lower the temperature and the slower you cook it is how you get tender meat, which is why I don't cook any meat that I don't slow roast it in the oven. Tony, my family lives in Italy and they are, oops, something about April. Oh, and they're shut in until April 3rd. Wow. Yeah. And you guys. And if you do have to be shut in, just take it easy. Enjoy the time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, people worry about being shut in. It's good to make sure you have, you know, what you need. But, but that's why you're prepared. But the thing is, you, if you can't control it. Um, and I think it sounds like they're really trying to make sure that it doesn't spread around too much over there, but um, yeah, but yeah. All so. right. Let's see. What's this one? Oh, so I'm worried about my aunt more than anything else. She's been really sick. She's over 70 as COPD praying for her and everyone. Yeah. I mean, those kind of people, I wouldn't be sending it to church or the well, grocery store. It's kind of like Tara's grandmother is 91. Yeah. She seems like she's in pretty good shape, we think, but 91 is. Yeah. Know, and Shelly says, God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. Turn off your TVs and trust God. This too shall pass. That is, I mean, that's what it boils down to. You're either going to have faith God's going to take care of you or not. So, yeah. Um, Karen, I'm considering starting an Etsy shop for reusable toilet paper. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yes, Angela, God is faithful. He's with us. Absolutely. And he has control over it, too. He could stop it today. Yeah. And by the way, guys, um, we haven't announced it on the website yet, but if you saw our other video and you wanted a Bible, we <laughs> were banned from Amazon from <laughs> buying, too many for buying too many Bibles. <laughs> Go figure. Because we set out like a ridiculous amount of Bibles. But anyway... We got some more from our church. They are not the study Bible. They're just a regular ESV, English Standard Version Bible. It's still much easier to read than the old King James. It, um, and we will email you a study guide to go with it. So if you wanted one of those, please email us at editor at livingonadime.com. We haven't changed it on the website yet. We just got them a couple days ago. So, <clears throat> well, I was wondering if we went to Hawaii, if we'd be allowed back into the mainland. Oh, that would stink well, if we got stuck in Hawaii for a month. Oh, no. But, well, the thing for us, <laughs> I, we do definitely, we do definitely have a concern. Like at church, there are a lot of older people. And so we were thinking they really had a huge reaction, the church did, uh, to try to prevent everything. And we were thinking, well, you know, there are some, a lot of older people. And that's, but, but we were thinking for ourselves, <clears throat> I just think it was, I went to the doctor the other day for a thumb injury and um, there was a young guy in there. He was like 28 probably. He looked like he was maybe, a, he was really muscular, looked like a basketball player, really healthy guy, healthy looking guy. And he was just really upset and completely causing a huge scene because... They were only giving masks to people that were actually sick. Well, she asked him, she said, are you sick? And he said, no. And she's like, well, we're, these are only for people who are sick because we're running out of masks and we can't give them to the people who are sick. And he's like, well, what about me? I was thinking, dude, you're a young guy. Like, act like Grow an adult. Grow up. <laughs> My goodness. But I understand. But I, I think that the, the fear of things is often worse than the things. And... For, for people that are in the high risk group, it, it's good for them to be wise. But even even then, you can't necessarily control every outcome. So just to try to do the best you can and then um, trust after that. I think we need to send a press release tomorrow <clears> or Friday. About your, one of your, your video on Friday? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. 
You think I'll get in the newspaper? I, I haven't seen one? this video yet. I just have some basic idea of where she's going, but it's Tara, so you never know for sure. Where she's we going. haven't sent out a press release in years because I got tired of dealing with the press, but I think on this one, I think I should. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I worked in television, not in news, but I. I always tried to avoid news, but I worked close enough to news that I saw some crazy things. And you know, guys, instead of being... Cherry's right. If you get stuck in Hawaii, you could do shows on hotel cooking and saving money. We did that when we were at the Mayo Clinic. Yep. You know, and, you know, instead of sitting there saying the sky is falling, sit there and pray for the healthcare workers. I mean, I saw this thing in China where the Christians are going in and helping um the sick and they're able to share the gospel while they're helping people pray for those people that they will be able to stay strong and help the people who can't get help you know instead of sitting there going on about the sky is falling all the time maybe you should sit there and start praying you know for these people and that so anyway yeah so we had some questions what did we make today i made um i will share the recipe here corned beef and cabbage which took like two seconds to do because it's so super simple all right so i just shared the reshared the recipe in the comments but it's in the description as well <clears throat> yeah it's funny because the toilet paper thing this is the thing I think is interesting, and this is kind of my point about having worked in television is somebody somewhere said something about what if you what if you're stuck isolated somewhere and you run out of toilet paper? And the fact that it just triggers this massive tidal wave of people to the store shows, I think, in a sense that, yeah, there may be a danger possibly, but the the amount of worry is is just greater than that so yeah um, jamie did you like the irish bread i sent did the guys <coughs> and the chocolate cake i need i wanted to know if you guys like the chocolate cake okay. i made so here's what i made for today's <coughs> here's what i made for today's recipe testing so these were supposed to be gluten-free dairy-free hamburger buns they're not but they turned out to be very good just regular buns, as you can see by the fact that there's only two and a quarter left. But then, I made this cake. Have you tried this yet? Did you try this? Um, oh, yeah, you tried it this morning, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. Mm. It's pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is an applesauce cake. It's so. hard to tell myself not to cook when there's so much good stuff around. Yes. <laughs> or not to eat. What am I saying? Yeah. Um... Well, and yeah, if you're sick, stay home, guys. I mean, my goodness. Yep. Anyway. Wow, that Jessica, we were just in Hawaii. Go see black sand beaches and green sand beach if you go. Wow. Courtney said that that she was there and loved it. Hmm. Wow. I don't know. Maybe we could just take Jack out of school for the rest of the school year and just go for March, April, and May. Last year when we said uh, we... At the t I think we thought we were going to have to go earlier. And I asked his teacher, if we, if we go a month earlier in order to, for price reasons, uh, well, would that be a problem with the school? And she said, oh, this is a chance of a lifetime for him. We wouldn't, we, that would be fine. We could make it work. Yeah. So, Who was at the door? <laughs> it was Anna. So the funny thing is, Jack has some, some younger friends that live in the neighborhood uh, that came to check on him. And you guys heard Buster. He, he was viciously defending the house. Well, unfortunately, we think he might be uh, losing some of his vision. So people that he's loved in the past, he barks like crazy at because I think he just doesn't know oh. who it is. What were you checking on for her? I couldn't remember if he went with the other kids or if he was oh. still here. So... I see. The kids have been playing tennis because it's been so nice out. Okay, go check YouTube. Let's see what else is on YouTube. Oh, there's stuff over there I might not oh, check. Oh, okay. So. Uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Jackie, there are instructions on YouTube how to cope without toilet paper. I told Tar, <laughs> I told Tar, go to Home Depot and get one of those little sprayer nozzles. <laughs> get your hose. 
<laughs> I think you should get a power washer. Homemade bidet. <laughs> so, yeah, a power, a power washer. That'd be a little too much pressure, probably. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My but... power washer's man's black because they don't have toilet paper. <laughs> So let's see, what else do we have? We would end up on the news for that. Amy says hopefully they can get the vaccine made soon so all the nonsense can stop. I was kind of curious. I heard some discussion of uh, it being more likely to be an issue in colder weather. And if that's true, I'm curious if it'll <coughs> at least temporarily subside in the warmer weather. Of course, it's already warm where you are, so, well, getting colder, I guess. Yeah. We've got some really, it's been beautiful here in Colorado the last week. Aw, Paul! See, we missed this on Monday. He said, <clears throat> my, wife, my wife, she's been studying up on you guys as we want to fund a few things. He's in Ireland, right? Yep, in okay. Dublin. Okay, that's why the English is different. Um, keep up your good work. Your mom's advice brought us to the Lord and advice changed our bank balance. Yes. That, that is, is awesome. wonderful, guys. See, now we need to go back to Ireland so we can meet them. So you have fun. So Tara, I think was, she I liked had, Ireland. I loved Ireland. She had a little bit of, um, she had a little bit of, what do you call it? The flashbacks thing. The, post-traumatic. Yeah, she had a little bit of post-traumatic stress from the roads. <laughs> well, and partly when Ellie and I went, we mostly stayed on the end roads. Uh, but this time Google would say, oh, it's, it's seven minutes faster to take this route. And it would route us on one of those roads that's, you know, one lane for both directions with a stone wall on both ends. <laughs> and I think Tara was terrified for her life because some vehicle would be coming and I would move over enough that hopefully we would go by without swiping each other. And she thought I was going to clip the wall. <laughs> so... Oh, see, it's not a power wash on the butt. It's a colon cleanse. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> come on. This is a Jesse. family show. <laughs> oh, let's see. Jamie but, says the chocolate cake was amazing, and her husband, David, ate all the Irish soda bread. That was like two huge that's things. That's awesome. Holy cow. Anyway, Paul, we were staying in um, Brownwood. Roundwood. 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 We were staying in Roundwood, and then we yeah, went we over the Roundwood. Wicko Mountains in this one area, and... We ended up taking, Google said you should take a side trip over here to, uh, I was, I wanted to stay on that road, but it, it was Google saying Google Maps it was is save, from Satan. It was saying it was going to save us money, and I was thinking, I don't think Google understands, you know, you have to take into consideration that as an American, <laughs> you can't drive 80 on the they road. They need to have an American version of Google in other countries, <laughs> and vice versa. But it's the most beautiful place, and we, actually, you really liked Dingle, right? Mm-hmm. And Killarney? Mm-hmm. Actually, Roundwood was really nice. I wish we had stayed there longer. Um, yeah, that was... If we would have stayed the whole it was trip really there, nice. that would have been great. Although I like Dingle, but yeah. Dingle was awesome. It did rain a lot more while we were in Dingle, which wasn't the case yeah. when Ellie and I were there before. Ricky, being cautious does not mean fear or panic. Yes. I mean, don't be stupid, but don't panic either. Yeah. I mean, if somebody's got it, I wouldn't be going around kissing them unless it's my kids or my husband, but. So, yeah, okay. I was just looking to see what other things we might have. Whoa, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. No more phone books around. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Actually, I have a whole stash of phone books in my emergency stash. Yeah, it's funny because Tara was talking about phone books and I was thinking, mm, yeah, nobody knows make, what those are do anymore. Do they even make phone books anymore? I don't know. So. I don't know. All right. Check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Don't forget, Monday we are having our huge, biggest ebook sale we have ever had. As a matter of fact, Mike was like, do we really want to do that? I was thinking, that's kind of. <laughs> he said, that's a lot. I said, I know. Well, that's a lot for almost nothing. I was just thinking, hmm, what else will people ever buy? But let me tell you, <laughs> this is a huge, the biggest ebook sale you will ever have. I don't even know, should I say more? Uh, like, huge. 
Like, I mean, we guys. We haven't actually set it up yet. It's really huge. She terrified me when she told me what she wanted to do because it's Mike super, has to put it It's super, super huge. <laughs> so if you want an ebook sale, and you better pray for Mike to be able to get it all done in one day because it's going to take him a lot of work to put this together. But, <laughs> um, ha! Nadia, here in Portugal, the schools are closed, so everyone went to the beach. I know, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Man, um, no, I mean, yeah, oh, anyway, we've said enough on that, but anyway. It sure is awesome to have you guys here. I wasn't done with my raving about the ebook sale. Well, you said anyway, I thought that was the, don't forget to It's a out. huge ebook sale. Oh, okay. Like mega, like super mega. Like quadruple mega. Wow. And Paul, send me, send me your email address, and I will send you some of our eBooks for your wife to look at while she is. She didn't, he didn't say why she's in the hospital, but no, maybe don't want to say it publicly. Well, that's probably true. Yeah. But while she is not doing well, send us that, and we she can look. He at said those. she's doing grand now. Oh, she's doing good. Yeah. But we'll still send yeah. them anyway. Cause, Lavender. Cause we, were, we hate being in the hospital. We were banned from buying bi too many Bibles. Yes. So apparently there is a limit on how many you can buy off Amazon. And we reached the limit for four or five, maybe six. I don't know. My assistant was sending them out for me because we had so many. We couldn't send them out. I couldn't do it. But um, It anyway. was only a temporary ban. And it's not, yeah. for, it's not because they're Bibles. It's because they like to think they like to tell everyone they have the lowest prices and so they they're afraid that you are buying them all out and then selling mm -hmm. them somewhere else yeah so um, yeah they don't have a you're buying them and giving them away option yeah so. yeah so um <laughs> paul send me your email address to editor at living on a dime dot com send me your email address to editor at living on a dime dot com and i'll get those ebooks for your wife and Julie B, I've already bought the credit card game and the cleaning ebooks. What other should I get? Ooh. All of them. Wait till next week. Because Monday is going to be a stinking good deal. Like a dollar. Like 50 cents in an ebook. So, yeah. It's a really good deal. Are you going to say what it is or are you going to wait till Monday to say what it is? It's a really good deal. <laughs> it's a really, really good deal. Anyway, we're also working on, uh, Mike's finally gotten to the edit, the last bit of editing on the new book, right? Is anyone else going to proof it after me? Nope, or... you're the last proofing. Wow. Mike started proofing today. Pictures on. He is the last proofing. Dave is working on the pictures for the new sequel and gluten-free. And we are hoping, unless we go to Hawaii, <laughs> April 1st is when we can get them to the printer. I think that's really pushing it, but we've been working on this for two years. I want it finished. Well, we're going to finish it as quick as we can. Yeah. I want it done. I'm tired of dealing with this. As a matter of fact, today at the grocery store, I'm not going to tell you, but this catalog right here gave me two more ideas for books. So, crank yep. those out. Yes. So, um... When you send the Bibles, it shows it's a gift. Yes. But that doesn't matter. If we order too many of them, they don't care. So They still think you're selling them. Yeah. 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 Actually, what they think you're doing is they think you're buying them and saying it's a gift and having them send to somebody that you're charging to get them. So. Ooh, Angie says, I watched your video on emergency preparedness <clears throat> and took detailed notes. Thank you for sharing. So very helpful. I've enjoyed rotating food in my pantry and keeping prepared for any emergency that comes up. Woohoo! Sure helps eliminate any worry during trying times. Yeah, I guess that's why we're not worried because we're mostly prepared, except for toilet paper. Because of course, I was letting our supply go down. Well, and God says He's going to take care of us, so we don't worry. <laughs> so you don't mind being power washed? <laughs> yeah, I guess I've had worse things happen. <laughs> I would put it on the gentle Skype cycle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's... you do love me. <laughs> Yeah. Well, have an awesome night, everybody. You visit us at livingonadime.com. <laughs> oh, I guess Mike's going to have to go over here. Yeah, have a good night, Paul and Elizabeth and everybody. And have a good morning, everybody, in <laughs> Australia and South Korea. That's Let's pretty see. cool, right. actually. 
We'll see all of you later. Bye. Bye.